What is up? It's your boy bringing to you as a oh wow, I don't even know how to do this. I'm trying to do hand motion so that it's not awkward. What is up? It's your boy in here bringing to you as a brand new freaking video, man. So look, listen, as you can see, you can't see me, and that's because we're doing a POV review today on my Toyota Tacoma. I can feel my head moving an awful amount. I wanted to do this because I see these reviews on YouTube all the time, and I think they're the super most coolest thing. Without further ado, I have my partner in crime there. Let's get in to the startup. So, I preset everything up. I hope everything is still in frame. You should be able to see my hands and the road. But yeah, let's get this show on the road. So, I'm not going to talk too much because I know when I was watching these videos, I wanted to... Um, I wanted to hear the truck more and kind of see how it felt for myself. So we're going to do a little bit of everything. We're going to do some city driving and then maybe get on the highway. I'm not sure. But yeah. I'll try to do a pool somewhere that's safe and legal, not on a 35. So currently, we don't need to have our headlight on, our headlights on, but that's what it looks like. I hope you can see it. That's what it looks like once the headlights are on, the info infotainment system turns on and gets pretty sweet. Um, yeah, we just have our daytime running lights on. Trying to turn left here. Is taking way longer than expected but on the road you feel good because you're not you know the smallest car on the road but you're also not the biggest so I feel like you're kind of in that sweet spot My truck thankfully came with blind spot monitoring. Oh, it doesn't usually beep twice, but that time it did. And as you can see over there, it turns on whenever somebody's in your blind spot. Hopefully we can get this light. Alrighty, so we have a little bit more road here, so I am going to put the foot in and do a little bit of a pull to show you guys. Not too shabby at all. Probably shouldn't do it on such a crowded road, but um, it definitely feels good all right so we're gonna get up to speed here Let's see how that goes no cars are coming so we are good to go As of right now, our current trip, we're at 16.8 miles. I don't usually floor it all the time like that, so hopefully by the time this video is done, we are at better MPGs, and it's more of a, it's a more realistic number. I usually average around 18 to 22. Um, never ever is it down at 16.8, ever, like ever. Well, even when I'm driving crazy, um, yeah, we're still more at like an 18 to 20. I haven't driven many trucks, but when I'm out here on these, they're kind of like hilly hills. I don't know how to say it, but when there's hills, the truck definitely feels floaty. Like kind of like you get that feeling in your stomach doesn't feel very stiff. I haven't had the chance to run like a TRD Pro or a TRD Off-Road, 
so I can't speak on those suspensions um, but for this suspension it feels pretty good I don't have many complaints about it I don't feel like it's too bouncy or too stiff I feel like it's just right So that's kind of how it feels like every time when you're getting off the line. You're getting beat by everything, and that's just when you're just trying to drive. It definitely feels like it takes a lot longer to get up to speed, and by the time I'm now up to speed, there's a light. If you're unlucky, it'll be red, and then you have to repeat the process over. And like I said, there's another light up there, so over and over and over again. Thankfully, these lights are green, but when you're doing city driving in this truck you kind of have to go with the punches and hope to god that all the lights are green if not you're gonna have some fun stopping and going and stopping and going Those bumps did not feel or sound pleasant at all. Random question. Do you guys think these things right there, they're the ones that get your speed, do you think that like if you're speeding a lot, do they send some type of signal to the police or do they like advise somebody or are they just there kind of like as a reminder to not speed? I always wondered that, maybe you know, because I definitely don't. But whenever I see when I try to slow down, we're going to turn on the lights just so you guys can see what it's like at night. Everything's pretty self-explanatory. You got just some buttons down here, lights. Again, this isn't going to be my full review, so just wanted to show you guys some things, but we'll go through this whole video in the point of view in a later video. I actually wore a watch for this video. Um, the watch does not work at all, but just felt like it would add some class in the video for some reason. If this is your type of driving, I would probably say stay away from a Tacoma because it's not the funnest experience. Um, I don't usually drive on this road that often, um, but when I do, it's always worrisome because you have someone in your blind spot you have cars breaking miles before the red light you have a guy looking down at his phone it's just not the best the best time because you have to brake a lot then you have to speed up a lot and slow stopping the truck is not the easiest it kind of feels a little heavy and then trying to get it back up to speed is also not the best well they have a trd pro well, they have a 2020 TRD Pro used. Should I trade in the... Should I trade in my TRD Sport and get a TRD Pro? Comment down below. Comment down below.
Alrighty, man. Well, that's going to wrap up today's video. If you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, a comment, and a subscription. I really like making these videos. I feel like they're cool. They're not the funnest making them just because I feel like I have like 30 pounds at the front of my head and it's kind of uncomfortable at no, it's, kind of, it's pretty uncomfortable the whole time, but I feel like it's a good video and it kind of shows you guys what it's like to drive a Tacoma, uh, kind of be in the moment. I try not to talk too much, that way you guys can kind of just experience it. So I am going to be making a point of view review on this, that way you guys can see like the whole thing, like if it was in your own eyeballs, and then we can go from there. So if you guys did enjoy, if you guys have any questions, let me know down below, leaving a like, a comment, and a subscription. But other than that, man, it's been your boy. I'm already liking Audi. I'll see you tomorrow. Cinco de Malo. Peace.